Greetings. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am known as the Music God. I am the host of two podcasts. Uh, the first one is called The Noise Report, where we interview all kinds of cool and random people. Uh, the other one is called The Ish List. Uh, the Ish List is a podcast where we count down top 10 random lists of crazy shit. We also do brackets, uh, <laughs> March Madness style brackets of, again, other random crazy shit. We do music reviews. We do all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is going to be my first foray, so to speak, into video reviews. Uh, we are going to get into reactions and that kind of stuff. I am learning the whole editing thing. Uh, so this is going to be a one take sort of thing until I learn to edit better. So please bear with me. But I waited a long time for this record to come out. I've uh, been following this couple on TikTok. And I wanted my first video one to be their record. Uh, because I've been so impressed with what they have been doing. So what we're going to talk about today is a group... Uh, they are a couple. They're known as Throne. Uh, you can find them under Throne on all the different formats, including this one and uh, YouTube Music. Uh, it's T space H space R space O space N space E uh, is what you find them in. They have a brand new record. It's called Lionfish. And um, this is a very different kind of hip hop. This is abstract it's very avant-garde it's very surreal it is not what you would expect it's very outside of the box but this is exactly what makes hip-hop the amazing art that it is it is the thinking outside of the box. It is the fact that they haven't followed the blueprint, so to speak, that so many other hip hop artists, other rappers have followed. The fact that they have taken the art and turned it completely on its head and done their own thing while still maintaining a very high functionality within the genre. Um, I, as I listen to this record, and this is 20 songs over 45 minutes, uh, so it's a, it's a good chunky record, you know, as far as length and whatnot. There's so many different styles. And I know as a group, there's a lot of artists they say they are influenced by. Uh, Erica Badu and MF Doom and Earl Sweatshirt and uh, a lot of others that I've seen them mention. But as I'm listening to this, I kept thinking in my head, there's, there's something I'm hearing here and I couldn't quite place what it was. It was another artist and this is a very esoteric style. And as I'm listening to it, about five songs in, six songs in, I realize, for those of you who remember back in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a group called PM Dawn. And um, this is very, very in the style of what PM Dawn did. If you remember the song, Set Adrift on Memory Bliss. This is in that style. This is that very esoteric, abstract, spacey vibe, man. This is not workout music. Uh, this is not fight music. This is not the music you're going to listen to on a long run. This is the music that you listen to 
while relaxing. This is the music you're going to listen to on a long walk through the woods. If you're going on a long hike and you're just taking in the beauty of everything. God's wondrous creations all around us. This is a music for it, man. This is beautiful music set in a really unique and crazy way. There's a lot of things I look for in music. Does it hype you up? Does it bring you down? Does it spark a certain emotional response or what? And I listen to a lot of music. I listen to hip-hop. I'm a metalhead, old 80s glam, I listen to reggae and jazz, I listen to blues and country, Americana, red dirt country, uh, comedy. I have a million and a half songs in my musical library across probably a hundred genres. This one stands out. This isn't instantly catchy. It's never going to be that record that you put on at a party. But this is thinking music. This is music that is on a different level. This is in that category of music. Like Sage Francis. Like Common Markets. PM Dawn. Um, this is great music. This is so well done for an independent artist. The quality. Beautiful. And I applaud them. This will be in my top 10 year end. Uh, I guarantee you. This is a record that's going to stay with you and make you want to listen to it repeatedly. Again, it's not club music. So if you're, if you're going in this with the mentality of, you know, it's going to be that hype music. This isn't it. But if you're looking for something that's just completely off the beaten path, that's mood altering, that will make you think and make you a better person for having listened to this. This is it. This is it. Flying Fish from Throne. Um, you can find them on TikTok. Uh, I believe their name on there is Some Rap Couple. And uh, just finest ever, man. This is it's a beautiful, beautiful record. And uh, with that said, I'm the music guy. This is, you know, this is a must have. So if you're a music fan, serious music fan, run out, grab this sucker up. Be well. We'll be back. More reviews coming soon.